A boarded up window is the only thing that makes this mobile home seem different than any other along the street. But neighbors say there was something obviously different about Bentley and Stewart's relationship. She never came out the house. I, I never understood that. You never really ever saw her, but now and then she'd walk out and usually she screamed or something at him. Tammy Warner lives just a few homes away from Stewart and Bentley. She says this neighborhood off of Bacon's Bridge Road is often quiet. That is, until earlier this week when police swarmed the couple's home once they say they realized Bentley was lying about the missing persons case. They were raiding the house and looking up under the trailer and I mean, they were just, it was unbelievable, all the police over there and what they were doing. And I knew something was wrong. Warner's son cut the grass for the couple. He claims Stewart often talked about the problems with his marriage. We talked about his marriage a little bit, like how him and his wife used to fight a little bit, how she used to threaten him and have pulled knives out of him and stuff like that. According to a police report, when Bentley was pulled over for a traffic stop over the weekend, she told police that she was bipolar and on five different medications for her mental health. Despite the seemingly obvious problems, neighbors say the victim never talked about leaving his wife. I always asked him, why is he still with her? And he's like, it's just my love. I've been with her all my life. I'm, I can't leave her. Anymore.